So, pretend that this road leads to the kingdom of God. And everybody on this road that's going my way is a Christian. Now, some Christians, they still have a heavy load. You see that truck that's ahead of me? The white truck that's like three cars ahead? That has a heavy load. Some people don't want to let go of their load. Some people don't want to let go of the old things of their life. They don't want to let go of their unforgiveness. They don't want to let go of their bitterness towards their family relatives. They just don't want to let go. They don't, they don't want to let go of the things that have been in their, in their family for generations. Because they're so used to it. They're so comfortable with it. So, they believe in Jesus Christ, but yet they have all this stuff that they depend on in their family that's holding them down. Jesus says that he wants you to be part of a new family, part of the family of the kingdom of God, but you keep holding on to your old family things, your old family curses, your old family ways. And that's the problem. It's slowing you down. Check this out. The speed limit for this road is 65 miles an hour. Jesus set the speed limit. Now this truck right here, I'm willing to bet it's going 55. See, you're not going the rate that Jesus wants you to go. You're going the same way, but you're not going the rate that Jesus wants you to go. And sometimes when you have so much weight and so much load in your life, sometimes you break down. You just break down. Now, of course, this truck has probably got a lot of load, but it doesn't break down. But since our bodies are so frail, our human souls are so frail, when we have too much weight in our lives, we break down. We can't take it anymore and we break down on the side of the road. We come short of the things of the kingdom. And then we stop, we just stopped on the way to the kingdom. See, Jesus told you to let those things go. Jesus told you that you don't need that anymore. Jesus told you that you don't need that, that, that pornography anymore. Jesus told you that you don't need those horoscopes anymore. Jesus told you that if you want to receive life, receive it through him. There is nothing on the face of the earth, no matter what's advertised, no matter what's your favorite thing on TV, no matter how good it tastes or how good it feels or how good it looks, there is nothing on the face of the earth that can give you life. Your PhDs can't give you life. Your career can't give you life. Your job can't give you life. You marrying someone else can't give you life. Having a bunch of children can't give you life. There is nothing in the world, no matter how much you celebrate it, it can't give you everlasting life with the Lord Jesus Christ. It can't give you everlasting life with the Father. You may celebrate it. You may say it's fun. You may say, oh yeah, it's worth it. But I tell you what, at the end of your life, if you don't have Jesus, then all that is going to mean absolutely nothing. Because you said that all that, everything else, was worth more than Jesus. You, you need to be born again. Jesus says that if you want to enter the kingdom of God, you must be born again of water and spirit. Again, there is nothing in this world, no matter how good it is, no matter how, how, how good it looks, how good it feels, and how much it's celebrated. It, there is nothing in this world that can make you born again, no matter how happy you are, except the Lord Jesus Christ, except the Holy Spirit. So you must be born again. And I'll tell you what, a lot of the times the devil is going to try and take you down. He knows his ultimate destination is hellfire, and he's trying to take you down with him. And some people are trying to fight the devil or some people are trying to defeat the devil without Jesus. They think that they can defeat the devil without Jesus. You have to truly understand that the devil was once an angel. He was once a servant of God so he had wisdom. He has wisdom. And he can outsmart you and outsmart me. He can outsmart the smartest person in the world. So you're going to need someone more powerful than the devil to defeat the devil. Your muscles can't defeat the devil. Your Taekwondo and your Karate can't defeat the devil. Your attitude can't defeat the devil. Your street smarts can't defeat the devil. You're going to need the Lord Jesus Christ. You're going to need the power of the Lord Jesus Christ to defeat the devil. You may act all hard and all in the streets. Maybe you have a woman attitude. 
that ain't going to defeat the devil. It's by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ that can defeat the devil. He defeated death in the grave. Jesus Christ defeated the death in the grave. So he can definitely defeat the devil. You just got to put your life and put everything that you have in his hands and let him take care of the rest. And in order to do that, you have to surrender to the Lord Jesus Christ. You have to see him as Lord. You have to see him as King. Now this truck right here, this truck is taking, he's taking a slow time because he probably hasn't been down this route right here. He hasn't been down this, this road and he's taking, and he has a heavy load. He's taking it carefully. Now that's good because I tell you what, if he was going too fast with a heavy load, he was trying to rush to the kingdom as fast as possible. Then he would crash, he would wreck. If Jesus set the speed limit, if he says, I am the truth, the way, and the life, if he says, pray to the Father, if he says to study the scriptures, then study the scriptures, if he says, pray to the Father, then pray to the Father, if he says to fast, then go ahead and fast. But for those who don't do the things that Jesus tells them to do, if they don't follow Jesus Christ and don't talk to Jesus Christ every single day, and Jesus isn't directing them, then they're always going to crash, or they're going to get lost, and then they're going to break down because they ran out of gas. They get lost, they go left, they go right. They go off this, this cliff right here, they go off this canyon right here, and then they crash. You have to truly understand that Jesus wants you to live in him, in him living you. Don't be afraid, don't be shameful. And don't misunderstand, and if, and if you misunderstand, then that means that you need to study the scriptures to understand in Jesus. Jesus will make you understand through his Holy Spirit. If you're interested in the Lord Jesus Christ, if you're interested in getting your, in actually receiving life and saving your life through the Lord Jesus Christ, then you should be going home studying the scriptures every day, talking to Jesus every single day. Just talk to him about anything. Whatever's on your mind, talk to him like he's your best friend. Talk to him like he's your mama. Talk to him like he's your daddy. Talk to him like you can trust him. You can trust him. You can trust him. With your deepest, darkest secrets, let him know what's on your mind. And he'll have an answer for you. I guarantee it. But that's all I got to say, guys. I just want to say I love you. I love you enough to tell you the truth and to reveal the truth to you. Because I don't want anyone being deceived and tricked by the devil and thinking that they can outsmart the devil and fight the devil on their own when obviously the devil is always going to win over you if you don't have Jesus you need Jesus you need the power of Jesus you need Jesus to direct you all right and that's all I gotta say guys just want to say I love you Jesus first God first and in the kingdom always come first stay blessed in the Holy Spirit amen